Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing as uh, Nit Setapi. Um, I'm your host, Mr. Mark 11, and we're led by Cher Chief Jeremy Oldgun. So we got a couple things we're doing. Um, we're storing vision quests, which I might have read last time. Yeah, vision quests were a grueling experience even before the world became a wasteland. Older boys with uh, experienced days of fasting and prayer in the wilderness, now the occasional Yagawai attacks, with the goal of seeing a vision of the future. Should they return, they are welcome and ready for the next step joining the society. Support equipment. Build more sweat lodges. The sweat lodge is both building and a ceremony where an individual or small group is ritually purified by enduring the extreme heat, and some ceremonies offering prayer chanting for several hours. The experience helps with both the physical and spiritual health of our people, and we should reintroduce the practice where it has been forgotten. So we're going to try to save some political power if possible, which we probably won't. But we're going to attempt to. Probably not be successful at that. Holy crap, we need more, a lot more... Uh, Guns and such. Well, you know, I just closed out of it. Uh, maybe we can get buy some more. Current opinion is fifty. Why not? Uh, that's not bad to have. Yeah, I'll get more political power too, which is great, 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 great. Could spread propaganda, but we're probably not going to. We're gonna need another division. Right, by division, I mean army. Because we have stuff down here, as well as down here, uh, as well as here. So the Sisters of Steel is definitely uh, someone we got to watch out for, especially as they have a puppet of the Ruminators, which is not ideal. Do we need any more support equipment? Not a lot more right now. Um, but is there anything else that we could do that would give us more stuff? Dogs, maybe? Wolfskin Hunters, which I read last time, but we might read again. Uh-huh. Let's see. Truth be told, I'm not certain this practice ever was really one of ours. I can finally hold, finally, I can hardly find old books about it. And the old tradition has been lost, but Morning Stack seems so enamored with the old painting that supposedly depicts your people using this tactic. I can hardly stop him from trying it. Uh, so we're a little bit way too ahead of time. Uh, sure. Since we're going to get dogs anyways. Eventually. Murphy's Law. Oh, look at that. Natural medicine under its. It's. Payopa. All things have a purpose. For many plants, we have, at, we have found that to be medicine. Not only have we maintained many of the plants used by our people for centuries, but we've been diligent to document the properties of strange new plants that have emerged in the wasteland and, and the potential uses as well. Black bonds, which wouldn't be bad. Equipment capture ratio, which we don't need immediately. Bad business, though. To go to war with the middle mark wouldn't be a bad, a bad idea. But I don't want to go to war with them and go to war with someone else at the same time. Um, but we do need both of you to do that, so the black bonnets. In times long past, great wars and spiritual leaders would wear bonnets made of eagle feathers. A few of these remain passed down to treasured relics, but eagles are rare and few now. Instead, the speakers of fun that can coerce the ever clever raven into bringing us their own shed feathers in exchange for treats and trinkets. With these new bonds will, that embody the guile and tenacity of these survivors will adorn great warriors. Settlements, more political power, just more, we need more. More propaganda, uh, I would like that and that would really help us out. Uh, military setting bonuses first. Natural medicine. Uh, we'll do this one. Because I still want to core all the MacArthur territory as much as possible. Because, like last time, uh, coring it would be 50% cheaper. Which is nice. Oh, a little lag there. Or the cultural liberties for the core territories, but we'll get there in a moment. Restoring a return of the counting coup. The counting coup to touch an enemy in the field of battle without killing him in return on skate to tell the tale is not an easy task. Was one of the few that must be completed to earn the right to regale your exploits to tell your war stories. I've done it, and I believe every Nitsepati man or woman brave and take up the arms of the potential to do them. Nice. Oh. Oh, we need to put in this one. Oh, whoops. Crap. Forgot about that. Whoopsie. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh, middle mark. Oh, it's middle mark this time. Okay. Well, I guess we don't do to war them. They're just going to come straight for us. Mm, group and capture ratio? Yeah. Ooh. 
Lies of Liberty. The cult next door continues to preach and sing the praises of lost America, as well as the holy being. How ignorant they are of its sins and misdeeds. America is dead and gone, and it's time to teach these fools the real history of this land, from one staff. Everlo Imita. Such good boys, their Imita have survived with minimal mutation here in the mountains and the remaining loyal companions. They're the only animals that were part of our ancient wave lap we could save, and one might almost think that they know with how closely they walk alongside us. So, we'll probably grab this one next. Not destruction of Mount Rushmore, oh no. So since we're gonna go to war with us anyways, we're gonna do that one. That 35,000 manpower, that's a lot. I hope to god we're ready for these guys. What else do we have here? The Fate, Stormmongers, Middlemouths. I'm just gonna start recording that anyways. It's fine, it's fine. Well, oh, that's definitely worth doing. Well, we save our political power for this stuff. So, okay, now they've been at war with us. Um, I hope to God they can't beat us up. They're already doing a number on us. That temperature makes a difference. They do have some infantry, they do have some robots. They're a mixed bag. Good. That's going to help us out immediately. Um, supply consumption, speed of enforcement rate, nomadic traditions. Well, I guess we this one. Bad business. Middlemark's service robots only reached our borders recently, and at first we could give the opportunity to trade out. The machines remain singly focused on the profits of a long dead company, trapped in the same kind of thinking that destroyed the world in the first place. It'd be better for everyone to get Calgary under our control and repurpose them into something actually useful instead of greedy. Ta new type of shaman. Ancient rituals have helped restore the health and spiritual well-being of our people, and by combining them with our understanding of medicine, we've been able to improve the success rate of drinking the wa black water significantly. Caps, stability. Uh, the roads in the stretch, plenty of roads need repairing. Driving old APCs, test driving is a surefire way to learn how to do this, hopefully. Uh, making a mountain out of a molehill. We've retrofitted some of the vehicles into stuff we can use, and boy, how do we're having a blast with it. I sure do love guns. Don't you love having a gun that won't blow up? I mean, that's helpful. really quite bad. Why are we so weak? Infantry is just so, so, so weak. Um, I'd rather just core more stuff. They are twin combat with. We we're only supposed to get car dogs on these guys. Add units to template native guard and its native guard. Oh, I didn't add it to it. Well, what the heck? What? That's dumb. Advanced generators. Yeah, they're just like destroying us right now. Not ideal. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure we can beat them. I said, oh, wait and hold. Did I not? 
you are going to hold until you die, basically. Um, life giver, be a sniper first. Let's see, I don't think you have the range for this. Fortunately not. To do something here to uphold. If anything, uh, Travois transport. Travois is a method of using two great sticks bound together with a support to drag him materials over long distance. It may seem strange to people who are used to using wheels, and in truth, we still make use of wheeled vessels where we can. But in the broken roads of the waste and under the thick grasses of the prairies, our Travois have found new life helping move clans around our territory in peace and war. Nitoyis, commonly known as a tipi by non siksikataitsev api. The Nitois East is a simple form of temporary housing able to be packed up and moved very quickly, making it ideal for nomadic hunters and warbands. Nomadic traditions. Although the Inixi, many might think that the sedentary lifestyle we were forced into on the reservations would become permanent, but we know better than that. Deep in our hearts, we've always longed to wander and explore the world as we once did. Games we farm and build towns will never let go of the nomadic spirit of the people, ever traveling and searching for the next horizon. We're going to lose lodges. Don't believe that just because the people are nomads, they don't know how to build permanent structures. Either Nitsitapi, you need a place to lay the head during the cold winter, when hunting is sparse and the plains act with bitter winds. Winter lodges have always been a stable place for people to return to, protected by the trees and mountains. Uh, we'll talk about one later. Uh, plants may not be people, but they sure are important. Growing plants equals food, do the math. Castman Company, money talks. Irrigation. Don't you want to survive? We need water. Medicinal breakthrough. Meds that won't kill us? We gotta figure out how to make more of this. Manifest leftovers. Manifest sure to leave a lot of weird stuff that has been scattered county to county. How to kill or nestle make F up. It's the most important lesson to know. Knowing the land. Knowing the land will give us that one heck of an advantage against the other folks. And bringing chems into the fold. Drugs are bad, but we call them chems. So it's okay. Well, we've survived so far. We've tried very hard. And, uh, well, we pushed in actually a little bit. We expanded our divisions, making more of them, making, uh, making them stronger overall, but lies of liberty. The cult next door continues to preach and sing the praises of lost America, as well as the holy being. I read this earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we've got more divisions. They're thicker. They're stronger. We should probably get demo companies, too. Maybe. we got quite a few more special forces divisions, which really does help out. Um, they kind of work the through on chem companies, which actually has been quite helpful as well. We're going to attempt to do this. And do that as well. So we'll see. We should be fine. We do their superiority as well, which is pretty good. For now, since they don't have planes, we're just gonna bomb them. It's not gonna do very much damage, but you know it's something. Something's better than nothing. Lies of liberty. You have a shaman. <clears throat> Ancient rituals have helped restore the spirit. Oh, where is this one? Yeah. I keep rereading re the same ones that we've re re read before. That's my fault. It happens. Um, we're going to train instructors. It's fine. Command our for rifle territories. Well, we could and see what happens. Hey, drop some drug trade. Yay. Drugs. Alright, artillery's nice. I'll grab that. Demo teams. Demo organization. Flight. Finally get some better planes and whatnot. Yeah, overall, yeah, at the beginning, they, they were very strong, but then they decided to weak out. Or I guess we got stronger, technically. Focusing on the land doctor more, uh, more small things, um, getting more recon, helping out, like, division or individual division organization with all these small little buffs and whatnot. So, thank goodness, because this was really bad. Rise of speakers. It's been years since the Black Wives were first rediscovered. And the progress made was nothing short of miraculous. Old gonna never let go of his doubts, but the results could not be denied. Rigorous rituals and traditions prepared the minds of the people and increase of advances in science enabled greater and greater success rates. While there were still those who failed the test of the black water and the lost their voice, the symptoms that had were less severe. And there were so many speakers, it became easier and easier to reintegrate them into society. Children born of the speakers seemed keen to pick up the language quicker than others, and across the wasteland, word was spreading. Some claimed they had woken the ability to speak of the spirit world, and many would flock to the role of the medicine men. Old gun, old gun couldn't help but wonder what the future would hold. Would everyone someday become a speaker? What if they formed a guarded caste and tried to protect their power? Under Old Gun's watch, there would be no such tyranny, but he could not help but wonder what the future might hold for his people. One thing was certain, for better or for worse, the age of the speakers had come. I think it's a mutation, but everyone 
Everything has its place. Oh, speakers of the black water with age of the speakers. Murder decryption, better. Got special forces, minimum capacity. Oh, a special force. Attack and defense. Oh, that's nice. We're still all doing uh, driving old APCs. Nice, that just helps us out. I think at this point we can throw more divisions here too. Get it, my day. Good. Nice. I can't believe we actually beat them. Wow. That was actually really freaking difficult. Well, we, we won. Nice. No harder opponent awaits us. Okay, so we have quite a bit of money, which is actually really nice. We're gonna go and do this one as well as new assistance care package. We're gonna start boosting ourselves up. Getting old APCs. Uh, return of our horses. Uh, once in a time, too ancient to remember, the horses of America were hunted to extinction. When the colonizers came, they brought horses back in town. We found them and made them our own. The great war took them again from us. But rumors spread of an empire found on horseback to the north, an ever ending stampede. I'll finish my journey becoming a worksheet by repeating the past and bringing them back to us once more. Nice. Corporate removal. Meadowmark's influence earns deep in Calgary, with many of the residents still loyal to the automated systems that run the place, and others have been enslaved so long they've forgotten how to live on their own. Purging the worst elements of the region will take time, but will show them a better way eventually. Very good. Calgary, nice. Much more money gonna be pouring in, good. Morning Stag Street Adventures. The sun hung low in the morning sky. Morning Stag stared <clears throat> over uh, the horizon at his target. This would not be another of his grandfather's stories, another story of past lores or lessons about the world. Uh, it was time to make a mark on his own, to restore the honor. Uh, of the Nitsitapi. For centuries they had been without horses, and most of the room of them off extinct, but Morning Stag had known better. At the lands of the Great Stampede, horses still roamed them to prove his worth. Uh, to be a true warrior chief, he would steal a herd. The families of Great Stable had hundreds, after all, they could afford to lose a few dozen if it gives the Nitsitapi their cavalry back. True to his name, Morning Stag would be back before sunrise. Your horse thief, huh? These are considered special forces, aren't they? Or no? Yeah, they are considered special forces, unfortunately. Well, what would happen? You remove it and added this. Oh, it would actually make it better. You would lose what? A little more supply, training time. Huh. Interesting, okay. Well, we could try it. I mean, we don't have a lot of horses. We have, like, no factory to use. But it is what it is. And such. That's what we've been waiting for. Get, put a little more fire on this. I guess we won't, we're not going to get re recon then. It's fine. I'd rather demo teams. Um. Oh. Return the ink store. Oh, well, I probably need to get that one done too. Is 
is even faction with them. Well, maybe we have to go to war with them. Well, all right, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. I wonder if we can demand territory. I doubt it. Reject the ultimatum, huh? Alrighty. Yeah. Hmm. God. They even have the other ones down there too, the free cons. But well, we go to war with Standing Rock, we might go to war with them. I'm glad we have the ability to go to them go to war with them whenever we want, which is nice. Still. I want to upgrade get to Military Academy officers first. The fate of the Nitsitapi. Long has been the specter of America loomed over our people, but now they've been pushed out of Montana, the time's come to decide a future. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, we're getting more money, which is great, but uh, we're just letting the Special Forces move in. Let the Special Forces do it. Let's reduce how much damage we're taking, and uh, kind of go from there. Do we have any? Yeah, we do finally. Good. Take these guys and go there. So let's show some nice, good. Leader experience gains good. Mobilization, yes. A whole one cast, yes. Pressure's nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab some of this. Level three is good. A little bit of lag. There you go. And we'll send you there too. Ah, there's a gap here. Very nice. Now go on in and see what you can do. See what magic you can make. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Gone. Well, they don't want the Great Stampede. Oh boy. Good. Built to destroy. Sounds good to me. Henry Hood. Uh, life giver. Spirit Stranger. Local leader. Nice. Good stuff. Force it. This should be much more entertaining than this one. But you never know. Good. And we got him. And we'll just break tribute when we need to. I don't know if we'll really need that one. Let's get some uh, versus twos. See what happens. There we go. The fate, the first confederacy, stuck to Olgan's principles as an faction, reclaiming our birthright. There has been never been a Blackfoot confederacy. The Nitsitapi have been unified in their culture and way of life, but something so formal as a confederation was never needed. Now, however, 
As we turn towards the future, it's time to find true friends to sign along with us as equals, and without making the mistakes of the past, or claiming our birthright. When our stag is leading us into war, the Wasteland is not a place of peace, at least it's not what we've been born with blood. These plans. Uh, these plans are once our home, and it's time to bring them back under our control. Return to Enixi. Morning Stagnos had held out help, but even he could not imagine the true extent. The death of the Bites had been greatly, greatly, greatly exaggerated after all, and from the Anvil to White Horse, where herds will still wander the waste, with a population in the park especially surviving relatively free of uh, mutation. Now, after hours of antagonizing negotiation, he was finally leading a herd of thousands strong being marched to the mountains, heading back to the Nitsip. Nitsitapi homelands, where they could pop in and spread across the prairies, but the centuries of absence had left the people uncertain as to what to actually do with them now that they were, they were back, and as always, it felt Olga to provide guidance on the matter. Conserve them as sacred animals, we must protect them, or learn them, or learn to use the Inixi in our daily lessons to tradition. Ooh, I like more attack. Agriculture research speed goes up, but it's not much. We might need that attack. Nice. Still gotta wait to core all that stuff, which is fine. You guys are gonna need more here. Uh, Miniaturized secretary is good. Yeah, they got quite a few divisions, don't they? Which is quite concerning. I'm not just any bonuses. Political power. Let's grab this. Ah, that's fine. Appointments. Well, I'll to do all that stuff up there. I'll grab this one, get more political power. You know, expensive armor training while we're waiting to. The fate of the Nitsitapi. Though we did not want to come to this, Olga always knew deep down was inevitable. The vestiges of the American government, the so called enclave of the South, had been destroyed. To know that they were gone and the Nitsitapi could finally rest in peace, that should have been a relief. But now, with the families defeated, there was a power vacuum in Montana that would need to be answered for. And I already knew one of the men who would try. You know that the time is now, now. Nah, our war has been itching for a fight and have built us a truly mighty army. It's your moment to take back the plans and finally reclaim what was taken from us centuries ago. In 234, Morning Stag, the threat has passed, and so has the past. You're thinking too much like them if you think the lines of the map matter more than our people's lives. We haven't lived here for many years. Is their new home not enough yet? Morning Stag paced the room, struggling to contain his frustrations. We used to be warriors once. You used to be a warrior. What happened to the legendary hero you used to be, Grandfather? Where is your pride in the heritage? I learned that being a true hero meant that protecting my people and not seeking glory in war. A lesson that the youth have not inherited, despite my best efforts. He sat in silence, hung for a few moments. I know you want to prove your mettle, so as the other warriors, but heed my words, there will be no more war while I still live. Pacifist. If you go on this path, I cannot lead you down it. Well, we could try it. Why not? We have a lot more organization, which is pretty nice. Stormmongers and middle mouths. Morning stag. Organization. Justify world goals time. Special forces capacity multiplier. Nice stuff. Crawl control. I don't know if I actually use that at all. Stonks. Well, good on radios and anti tank, too. Look at that. Do we have any horses? We have none. Boy, does it take a lot to make horses. So, for riders, horses, infantry, equipment. And then peace in the plains. Long last this air conflict is coming to a close. Well, we'll see about that. I hope they give it to us. I kinda doubt they would.
Can't promote this person. I need more command power. Proper heritage. Sounds like the one we should have. Cavalry attack defense. Yeah, a good general may be trained, but... Crap. Uh, great general must be bred. Of course, is in a way. Alright, I'm okay with that one. Alrighty, not bad. A great piece of... Nitsitapi. With Americans finally pushed out of forever, the Nitsitapi found themselves finally returned to the sense of peace. The speaker's side help made the Nitsitapi a hub of discussions and trade in the region, with Monsantana secured. It seemed conflicts of the old region were dying out, and any future war would come from beyond. Olga rested easy knowing that the future of his people was finally secure. He sent out summons from Morningstag at once. It's good to see you now. You needed me for something? Yes, it's time, Morningstag. I know it's truly more, merely a formality, but I'm announcing my retirement tomorrow. I think I'll become a storyteller for the little ones. He lit his pipes as grants and approached. Are you sure you still have some good years in you and your people need consistency? You've always been able to keep the nations working together, and I'm not certain I'm always ready to lead in a time of peace. I he hesitated. I don't know if I'll ever be able to take your place. How could I live up to your legacy, the legendary old gun? Old gun put a hand on the morning stag's shoulder and led him to the window of the winter lodge, gesturing out the plains. Morning stag, look at what you've accomplished. You became a true warrior chief, earning every merit for yourself. It was you who helped bring back the Enixi, who returned their horses, who helped lead her people against American attacks. We've had disagreements, and I still worry about your temper, but you've done nothing but impress me these past few years. You've proven yourself a warrior and built uh, your own legend, and now I believe you'll prove yourself a leader in peace. You are ready. Morningstag had rarely shown affection, but he could not help but pull his grandfather close, close for a hug. Thank you, now I'll do you proud. You already have. We are a new war chief and a leader for peace. He's a grandson of Jeremy Olgan, a bright young warrior for an, an, with an endless drive to exceed. He's heavily influenced by his people's long history and seeks glory in the battlefield. Morningstag dreams of a day restoring the ancient borders of his people, but Olgan cautions him that his obsession with the past may lead him only to more suffering for the people. Nice. They all reject now. I just don't know if we'd be able to beat them up. Even if we built all this stuff up, I mean, will they have planes? I mean, we don't have a ton of infantry. Well, we'll see you when we get there. Well, we're attempting to go in. We've killed off quite a few thousand of them. Uh, we got some lightweight metals, some monoplane fighters, and we're doing a generic focus tree because we decided to settle our people down. Uh, we've got enough people to hold for now. We'll see what happens, but it looks like we're doing pretty darn well. Kind of pleased with how it's going. I'd rather attack here than here. Oh, that and it's circlement. And they died. Who could have seen that one coming? Um, with this though, uh, where is that? This because we are scavenging the vehicles. Um, just going to political power, which we don't really need to, but we're going to do it anyways. And we got our guys back. Very nice. You know what? Start doing the ruminators. I guess you guys can do this too. That's fine. Look at that. Beautiful. Good, 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 go good golly gosh. And I just hope that we have air superiority. Quite a bit of damage. And we're gonna go to militia commanders next. Only six research slots. Never enough. But overall, this campaign's been fun. I, I like the unique story of uh, the Nitsitapi. Or. or Nitsitapi, yeah. Because um, I never played them. I've seen them around. They usually get taken out by MacArthur, which makes sense. But uh, it's been a lot of fun playing them, actually. Not easy. Oh, oops. You know what? I never use animal friend. We're using animal friend. Militia commanders. Militia 
grill. Very nice. We've done very well so far. Lost only a thousand. Losing manpower, but still. What have we done here? California Society. Holy crap. Well then. Legion's done very well this campaign. Very well for themselves. Looks like how we're doing well for ourselves as well. Um, so we don't need the ruminators, but we'll basically have to kill them off to get to the free cons anyway, so it's fine. Can mobilize a little more. And that should be okay. They're going until they die. Which is fine with me. Good, looking good. We cut him off from the capital. Nice. Ah, beautiful. And then you guys get several in the free cons. Remainder's not so much. I mean, that helps get through here too, but still. I was hoping that the Sisters of Steel would eventually go to war with us, but, you know, obviously they didn't. It was a little strange to me. I was more than certain that they would go to war, but, oh well, it's fine. Free cons can't do jack squat to us. We've got a 32,000, we'll take, we'll take 2,000, it's not bad. Eventually infantry can be pretty strong, but, very nice. And they the navy, we're not big on ships, but we're not even going to use them, so. Like I said, it's been a fun campaign, but if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great morning, Stag. Rest of your day.